I just don't seem to be able to get my eyes off of it. Two years is a long time. I'm going to slowly come down the stairs. Let's take my time with this video. You'll be able to see some areas where I'm definitely going to have to retouch. You see those rocky areas? The end of the tail? The little segmented pieces? Well, that's turquoise that lost its color because I had to use muriatic acid to clean off the extra grout because I use black grout. Here's a little closer view. So those were all turquoise, so I'm going to have to replace those stones. And then there's a few areas like this here that has the grout still embedded in it. That was all turquoise also. So you can see a lot of black there also. Um, I really shouldn't be showing you uh, the little uh, imperfections now until it's really finished and there aren't any, but I like to lay it all out on the platter to be seen. Um, there's some extra grout here. I used an iridescent uh, glass in that one as opposed to the turquoise, but here's the turquoise above it. So you can actually get a glimpse of what the turquoise is supposed to look like. And of course the chest area and I'll pull back a little bit. Unfortunately, I have her on her back now and my favorite side is the flip side, which is her whole back area that is just stunning. And we're gonna have to wait a few weeks until I can get a couple men over here to, to flip her back over because I'm uh, not capable of doing any kind of lifting or even bending for that matter. But there we go again. With By the way, the eyes are made out of 1930 shooter marbles and they're quite sizey. I think they were called 40 millimeters and they're the largest marbles that were ever made for tournaments and they're antiques and they're iridized also. You can see that iridescent glow as I pass by it with the camera. Um, here's some of the snoot. I'm gonna lift up the camera. I can't really see what I'm doing, but this is, of course, going upward where this is really gonna face down because that's the tip of her nose. And I'll pull back a little. It's almost like an Indian uh, elephant, a headdress that you would put on for a show when elephants are marching. And it's just, <laughs> I don't know, I just can't stop staring at it. I really, it's hard to believe that I actually made it. Uh, there's the, the other side of the face, of course, the other profile. Not a very good view, but I just really wanted to go slower in this. The other day I was all excited when she first got brought in. And, uh, and there is the other side of one of her uh, fins or flippers? I think maybe those are flippers where this is an actual uh, large piece of mother of pearl. This is carnelian and this is a putty epoxy that I mix together, a hardener and a resin and then I dilute oxides in it to give it a color and I wanted to go over all the rough surfaces where you have two areas of glass that meet. I didn't want there to be anything rough and I didn't want that to show. So I've added some, of course, aqua and orange uh, sculptural additions to, to hide, to make it safe, and to also finish my edges and make the pattern look even more robust in the team's colors. So that's that, and um, oh, different cute little areas where things are embedded. And I do actually have my signature somewhere. Uh, it's in one of the patterns. I have to really find it first before I start looking for it with the uh, camera already on. This video is gonna take a while to upload, but I'm still gonna try to do so. Now I'm gonna be shooting in shadow this is the other side of the tail. This is the actual front side, which I hadn't taped yet for you, but, and we're looking up into the light. I'm not sure what you're gonna be able to see, but believe me, I will get every square inch of her. Um, 
and hopefully you'll be able to come over and see her in person because I don't want to be living with her in my vestibule. I wouldn't mind her in my yard, but the dream was for her to be in the stadium and on display for everyone. So hopefully that is about to come to fruition. So, all right, that's my today's dose for both of us. Thanks for watching. There's the top of the dorsal fin. And by the way, just one more little thing. You see the background color that I was trying to emulate the skin color of a dolphin? This is iridescent pewter glass, which is almost the identical color of a dolphin. Uh, it's amazing that I found it. And I got it online and just guesstimated at the square footage, and it was just enough. So. We all got lucky over that purchase. All right, well, we'll sign off for now and hopefully I'll get this online as soon as possible. Thanks.